Good morning. From Dozens Creek to Fairbanks, we need to do 2,349 Ks. Yesterday we started Alaska Highway and we made like just the first two steps in Fort St. John and today we will reach uh, Fort Nelson. So we, we stopped just for, for one night because we were tired. Tonight we sleep the first night at uh, Bucking Horse Creek. Now we keep going and we will do the rest. The Alaska or Alcan Highway was the engineer marvel of World War II and was once described as the largest and most difficult construction project since the Panama Canal. We arrived at the 300 k's from the Alaska Highway. As you can see, and this year is the 75th anniversary of the construction of the Alaska Highway, so it's an important year for Canada. The road is completely, completely empty. We are almost alone. The building of the highway took unprecedented cooperation between the Canadian and United States governments to make construction possible. Hello! Are you on the ride? Yes! To Alaska! Please. Okay! Going that way? Yes! Let's go! I'm going that way too! The construction began in March 1942. More than 11,000 soldiers and engineers, 16,000 civilians and 7,000 pieces of equipment were called upon to build this 1,500-mile road through the vast wilderness of northern Canada and Alaska. In less than nine months, these hardy men managed to connect Dozon Creek, British Columbia, and Delta Junction, Alaska. How is the road? The road is good today. We decide to go 80 k's an hour, so a little bit faster. Usually we only go at 70 kilometers an hour. Uh, we usually put a uh, cruise control, so we are able to go lower on the fuel. We'll see how it goes today. I don't know if it's clear to see, but this is a wildfire in 2015. Now you will see all the trees gray. This is the normal color. And the wildfire burned about 19,760 acres. Okay, now you will see the difference. Wow, look at that. What the fire can do, destroy everything. So bad.
amazing spot. Look at that. We are at the Summit Lake. We will rise to at Summit Pass. And Summit Pass is the highest point on the Alaska Highway. Is uh, 1,295 uh, meters high. And we bath in the lake. Yeah. Just the fields. The Alaska Highway, winding in and winding out, fills my mind with serious doubt as to whether the lout who planned this route was going to hell or coming out. Retired Sergeant Troy Hyes, stationed at Summit Lake, historical mile 392.